the series of audio lectures are specially designed and created to reduce your eye strain and enhancing listening ability and stress free preparation and revision so close your eyes and listen carefully chapter 1 the living world introduction life is a complex organization of molecules which is unique and leads to growth development responsiveness adaptation and reproduction living organisms are evolving self replicating and self regulating interactive systems distinctive characteristics exhibited by living organisms the fundamental characteristics of living are those which are found in living and absent in non living the characteristics of living found in all livings are called defining features the fundamental characters are growth reproductions ability to sense environment metabolism ability to self replicate self organize interact and emergence and evolve with consciousness first growth growth it's an increase in mass and increase in number of individuals are twin characteristics of growth a multicellular organisms grows by cell division in plants this growth by cell division occur continuously throughout their life span while in animals this growth is same only up to certain age unicellular organisms also grow by cell division non living objects also grow if we take increase in body mass as a criteria for growth however the kind of growth exhibited by non living object is by accumulation of materials on the surface while in living organism growth is from inside growth therefore cannot be taken as a defining property of living organisms reproduction in multicellular organisms reproduction refer to the production of progeny processing features more or less similar to those parents organisms reproduce by sexual and asexual means some methods of asexual reproductions like spores in fungi budding in yeast and hydra true regeneration in planaria or flat forms and fragmentation the fungi the filamentous algae the protonema of mosses like that so in multicellular organisms reproduction refer to the production of progeny possessing features and those are similar to their ancestor but not same due to genetic recombination in unicellular organisms reproduction is synonymous with growth that means cell division is equal to reproductions example amoeba there are many organisms which do not reproduce like mules sterile worker bees hybrid creatures infertile human couples etc hence reproduction also cannot be an all inclusive defining characteristics of living organism metabolism the sum total of all chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism all plants animal fungi and microbes exhibit metabolism metabolic reaction can be demonstrated outside of the body in cell free system and isolated metabolic reactions outside of the body of an organism performed in a test tube is neither living nor non living it's called living reactions hence 
while metabolism is a defining feature of all living organisms without exception isolated metabolic reaction in vitro are not living things but surely living reactions cellular organization cellular organization of body is defining feature of all life forms as body of all living beings consist of cells cell is smallest independent possible unit of life which can sustain itself ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response that is consciousness the most obvious and technically complicated feature of all living organism is this ability to sense their surroundings or environment and respond to their environmental stimuli we sense our environment through our sense organs all living organism from prokaryotic to the most complex eukaryote can sense and respond to environmental cues all organisms are aware of their surroundings human being is the only organism who is aware of himself that is called self consciousness consciousness is therefore is the defining property of living organisms all living phenomena are due to underlying interactions properties of tissues are not present in the constituent cell but arise as a result of interaction among the constituent cells similarly properties of cellular organelles are not present in the molecular constituent of the organelles but arise as a result of interactions among the molecular components comprising the organelles these interactions result in emergent properties at a higher level of organization this phenomenon is true in the hierarchy of organizational complexity at all the levels diversity in the living world our earth has high biodiversity as it has about 1.7 to 1.8 million species this include nearly 1.2 million animal and over 0.5 million species of plants amongst animals insect from the largest group that's over 102500 species that is 1025000 species on the basis of similarities and differences organisms are placed into groups or subgroups that is called classification classification throws light on the origin of organisms gives information about evolutionary relatedness relationship between organism and it is important to know bio resources and biodiversity taxonomy taxonomy is a branch dealing with the study and principle and procedure of classification of organisms characterization identification nomenclature doc documentation and classification are the steps of taxonomy carolus linnaeus the father of taxonomy systematics is taxonomy and evolutionary history of organism that is phylogeny nomenclature different organisms are known by their local names in different areas so there is a need to standardize the naming of living organisms such that a particular organism is known by same name all over the world this process is called nomenclature standardization of scientific name is provided by icbn 1961 that is international code of botanical nomenclature and icz and that is international code of zoological nomenclature 1964 each name has two components the generic name and the specific epithet or species 
The system of providing a name with two components is called binomial nomenclature given by Carolus Linnaeus. For example, mango, the mangifera indica, the mangifera is the genus, indica is the specific epithet. Biological names are generally in Latin and written in Italic. Both the words in biological name when handwritten are separately underlined or printed in Italic to indicate their Latin origin. The first word denoting the genus start with a capital letter while the specific epithet start with a small letter. Name of the author appears after the specific epithet that is at the end of the biological name and as written in an abbreviated form, example Mangifera indica lin l i n n to denote Carolus Linnaeus. Linnaeus used a system that is system naturally as the title of his publication and his classification is close to artificial system. Taxonomy categories. Classification involves hierarchy of steps in which each step represent a rank or category. Since the category is a, a part of overall taxonomic arrangement, it's called taxonomic category. And all categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy. Each category referred to as a unit of classification represents a rank and is commonly termed as a taxon. The hierarchy goes species, genus, family, order, class, phylum or division and kingdom at the top. Species is the lowest category and kingdom is the highest category. Species regarded as the lowest category and kingdom as the highest category. There are seven obligate categories as discussed. Number of organisms increases when one goes from lower to higher categories. And number of common characters decreases from species to kingdom. But number of general characters increases from species to kingdom. So, as one moves from species to kingdom, classification becomes more complex and becomes difficult to establish relationship among organisms at higher category. Some common names, their biological name, genus, family, order, class, and phylum. Human being, biological name is Homo sapiens, that belongs to genus Homo, belong to family Hominidae, and order primate, class mammalia and phylum codex. Similarly, housefly, that is Masca domestica, biological name, genus Masca, family Muscidae, M-U-S-C-I-D-A-E, Muscidae, D-A-E means it's a family, Diptera, it's the order of housefly, die means two, so two wings, Diptera, class insecta, and phylum arthropoda. Mango, the mango tree, Mangifera indica, genus Mangifera, family Anagardiaceae, order Sapindels, class Dicotyledony, phylum Angiosperm. Wheat, that is Triticum astiform, genus Triticum, family Poaceae, order Boels, B O A L E S. Class monocotyledony and phylum or division that is angiosperm. So these are the organisms with their taxonomic categories as per NCRT. If the number of wings are more than two, like in butterfly, four wings, it belongs to Lepidoptera, and true bugs and cicadas belongs to Hemiptera. Taxonomic aids, herbarium. Herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimen 
that are dried, pressed, and preserved on sheets. This specimen, along with their descriptions on herbarium sheets, become a storehouse and repository for future use. The herbarium sheet also carry a level providing information about date and place of collection, English local and botanical names, family and collector names, but it doesn't tell you the height of the plant. Botanical gardens. These specialized gardens have collections of living plants for reference. Plant species in this garden are grown for identification purpose and each plant is leveled indicating its botanical and scientific name and its family. Some famous botanical gardens like a Q England, KEW in England, Indian Botanical Garden, Howrah, India, National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow, India. Museum. Biological museums are generally set up in educational institutes such as schools and colleges. Museums have a collection of preserved plants and animal specimens for study and reference. Geological parks. Geological parks, these are the place where wild animals are kept in protected environments under human care and which enables us to learn about their food habits and behavior. Key. Key is taxonomic aid used for identification of plants and animals based on their similarities and dissimilarities. The keys are based on contrasting traits or characteristics. Generally, is a pair called couplet. It represents the choice made between two opposite options. This results in acceptance of only one and rejection of the other. Each statement is a key is called a lead. Separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category such as family, genus, species for identification purpose. Keys are generally analytical in nature. Flora, manuals, monograph and catalogs. Flora contain the actual account of habitat and distribution of plants of a given area. This provide the index to the plant species found in a particular area that is flora indicate floral in Delhi or in some other places. Manuals are useful in providing information of identification of the names of species found in the area. It's a handy book. For example, the manual of cultivated plants. So these are useful for providing information for identification of name and that is found in a particular area. On the contrary, monograph contain information of any one taxon like family or genus. For example, pinus. So that is taxon or family genus specific called monographs. The mono means single. Catalog is a list of all species arranged in a method or methodically found in a particular area of them with brief description. So this is the end of the chapter one, Living World, Asiatic, class 11. Thank you for listening.